Oh, I know what it was. Dude was asking me about foot movement when you don't cross your legs. Shit, is everything, like I tell people, even when you're walking, like we say I walk, say I'm walking. That's how far your legs should be when you punch it. But, you know, you be seeing guys with their feet like this. That's because they be trying to get out the way. They be trying to get out the way of the punch. But a lot of times, old school fighters, they kept, you know, they stand right under there. And, and the way they get out the way of the punch is you just move. move. The, the punch only got to miss you by a couple of inches. So if you like this, all you got to do is move. Move. You ain't gotta be doing all this shit. You ain't gotta be, I mean, but you could do that, but you ain't gotta keep your feet wide apart. They be keeping their feet wide apart because they wanna get out the way. They wanna get they wanna hit the person, but they don't wanna get hit. So they keep their feet wide apart. But if you keep your feet wide apart, you can't hurt the man with nothing. Hey, you can't hurt him with that punch. Your feet too wide apart. Your feet gotta be under you. Boom. Yeah. See how I hide my face? Yeah. Feet is underneath you. The feet got to be under you. That way you hurt the man. Watch when George Foreman be fighting. How George Foreman used to hit guys. And he don't be coming way back. George Foreman used to be like, boom, boom. Oh. It's my breath, y'all. Feel with me here. I'm telling you. It don't. To be accurate punching is more effective than being a hard puncher, in my opinion. If you're an accurate puncher, you can hit the guy on the target. You can clock him on the target. Right here, right here, up here. You can clock him. It ain't got to be hard. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And technically, you're supposed to turn your foot the same way you do your turn your foot on the hook. Let me catch my breath. <laughs> like I was saying, it's better to me to be an accurate puncher than it is to be a hard puncher. And if your technique is sound, it don't take a lot of power to, 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 to uh, mess a guy up. And a lot of times, it's the punch. It's the it's the light punch that dazes a guy. But a lot of guys don't throw combinations. They be throwing one punch at a time. But it's always better to throw combinations. Throw combinations. Always throw combinations. Combinations. Bing, bing, bing. Combinations. Combinations. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>